On the ground, in the air, in the rivers, and even the deepest points of the ocean, microplastics are present. They truly define what it means to be ubiquitous, and that includes living organisms like fish and humans. The Department of Sustainable Development has embarked on a series of seminars to raise awareness of microplastics and their negative impact on the physical environment and life in general. The department's science and technology officer, Johan Novel, says microplastics can vary from a few millimeters to particles that are invisible to the naked eye. So through this seminar, we hope to improve the level of understanding and knowledge about what are microplastics, how do they affect the environment, how do they affect human health, and what potential actions can be taken to address microplastics. Currently, St. Lucia is at an exploratory stage, we, so we're aiming to um, raise awareness, to improve sensitization about microplastics. Um, we're not quite at a phase where we are ready to actually, you know, uh, drive forward in, you know, reducing microplastics. But the more we are aware, the more the knowledge is shared, the more information that the stakeholders receive, that will then bring us closer to the overall goals of addressing microplastic pollution and in general plastic pollution. Microplastics are taking a toll on the marine environment. They are responsible for an estimated 100 million deaths of marine animals. Microplastics have made their way up the food chain and are present in the air, clothing and water. It is feared that they are having a negative impact on human health. So microplastics are dangerous um, in that they can accumulate in the human body through ingestion, even through inhalation sometimes. We may, the, the air we breathe in may have those tiny microscopic pieces of microplastics. So they're very, um, they're very concerning in the way that they spread and just how prevalent they are in the environment. So that is why we would like to raise that awareness, bring the information to the stakeholders so that they can understand what it is, how it affects us all, and the, the, reason, um, the reasons behind wanting to take action to address these, these issues. Microplastics are not biodegradable. Over time, they break down into smaller particles that float around undetectable in water and air. The chemical, which is used to make plastics transparent, BPA, is known to disrupt hormonal balance, while the other chemical, DEHP, which makes plastics flexible, is believed to be carcinogenic, that is, cancer-causing. Microplastics are um, plastic pieces, fragments, pellets that are uh, below 5 millimeters, so they're they have a range of sizes, but some are visible and some are so small that they're not even visible to the naked eye. So microplastics are everywhere. They're as far as in the deepest parts of the ocean, in the Mariana Trench, they're on Mount Everest, they're all over. Microplastics, whether you can see them or not, are in, in every uh, area, in every ecosystem, in every part of the environment because some are some pieces are so small that they can be transported even by air by wind or by water um, so you find microplastics all around and some are so tiny that they can even be in, inhaled or ingested um, by animals by fish in the waters in particular um, there have been studies conducted where they found those tiny plastic pellets and pieces in in fish and in marine species and we in turn sometimes will consume those animals that consume the microplastics. The Department of Sustainable Development is aiming through its awareness raising seminars to not only inform members of the public about the presence of microplastics and their effects on the environment, but crucially to educate members of the public on what role they could play to reduce the amount of microplastics in the environment. Stanley Lucien for the HS News Force.